Welcome to ADI TV. Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about uploading your Blurb book to Blurb using the Blurb book creator. So I'm in InDesign and I've got my book and cover already finished. Um, obviously these aren't finished books but um, I've opened these with the template that uh, is created in the Blurb book creator. So I'm just going to go over and go to the Blurb book creator. I open open that up. Now it's important you've got the latest version. In fact, it won't work unless you have got the latest version. So if you haven't got the latest version of this uh, plugin, you'll need to download that. Once your book is, um, you've created your book, so you've given it a title, name, chosen the various size and paper options, and you've made your pages. You're going to come back in and then you're going to create the cover. And depending on what cover you've type, um, you've chosen, uh, it's going to create a different template. Once all that's done and you're ready to upload the book, You've got a number of options down the bottom here. You can choose between ebook or printed book. Uh, obviously, we're going to go for a printed book. And you have the option of getting rid of the Blurb logo. Also, um, you have the option of including the Blurb logo, uh, which gives you a discounted price on the book. So, without the logo, if I choose that option, the book price goes up. Now, obviously, depending on how many pages, that price will be different. And obviously, the price prices do fluctuate. So, I'm going to choose um, black paper and I may well end up as a little cheat uh, once this arrives actually cutting that page out so there isn't a logo there anymore. Okay, so once I'm ready and I'm all set to go what I can do is I can go upload book and it's going to go ahead and create some PDFs for me to look at to approve before it actually uploads them. So I'm going to hit OK, uh, I'm going to hit upload book sorry. So right now it's pre-flighting the files and as I haven't got any images or any text or anything to check it's actually pretty quick. This process potentially can take quite a while if you've got a lot of images and uh, other, other material that you're including in your book. I will also at this point tell you if you've got any problems. So if you've got images which aren't the right resolution then you have to go and uh, fix those resolutions or accept that it might not be optimal and they may not look as good as you think they will. Now you're obviously trying to get images that are 300 dpi for the relevant size of the book um, and that uh, would be optimal. You can also upload uh, or use RGB or CMYK. I've found the results with Blurb are actually pretty good um, with either colour process. Okay, so I've got it up here and it says um, your book's passed the pre-flight process. So I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to open up the two PDFs. Now obviously as I said I zoom out, my cover has got nothing on it because I didn't actually put anything on it, it was just a test. So that one's good. I'm going to just get rid of that and there's my pages. I zoom out a bit. And if I scroll down you'll see all the pages individually. Now that's how it up, um, out, outputs the pages rather than um, outputting double page spreads. They're individual um, pages. But that's okay, I'm going to look through that, make sure it's okay. Once I'm happy, I'm going to deselect that. And this now gives me two options. I can carry on keep working on the, the book and if I do that that will take me back into InDesign or I can upload the book. Um, so I'm satisfied that that's okay so I'm going to hit upload and it's now going to ask for my username and password which I'm going to put in um, and once that's done you hit login and it will upload the book and then take you to the blurb site. So it's a really brief introduction or explanation of how to upload your book and um, this is the preferable method you can do it manually um, although you risk um, not necessarily having the right size template or um, you know sort of certain errors with images and so on and so forth. So this is the way I recommend it using the plugin, the Blurb Book Creator. The School of Arts and Digital Industries at the University of East London.